guys and welcome back to another video from me and welcome to my new house and basically my new collection room because um, me and my girlfriend bought a house and we moved in together we've been together for uh, almost 40 years now so we thought time was right to basically get ourselves a house and get comfy and uh, with that I also got a new collection room as you guys can see a bunch of stuff here on display all new display cabinets, all from IKEA. Not all of them are new, but most of them are new. Um, so basically moved my entire collection from my parents' room or my parents' house to this house, my new place, of course. Um, and not everything is here. There's still a bunch of stuff at my parents' place, but the room here is not big enough to fit everything that I have. But the most important things are here. So want to give you guys a quick look at that well quick I'm not sure how long this video is gonna be but it's gonna be a room tour uh, probably my last one because everything here is the way I like it I mean everything is set up the way I like it probably not gonna change it too often but as you guys can see right in front of you you got some huge display cabinets these are like two meters tall and about um, one meter each um, <clears throat> wide and like 58 centimeters deep so you can put a bunch of stuff in there I'm gonna show you that but not right now I'm gonna first show you the other parts of the room we have and this section right here which is also from IKEA this is a Kallax I believe huge piece um, but these are really fun actually to put some random stuff in there and as you guys can see I use one of these for my non Star Wars collectibles and you can see uh, there's a bunch of Power Ranger stuff on there of course I'm a big Power Ranger fan and then the other wall is I'm gonna show you from this side a little TV display kind of unit but on top of that we have two details from IKEA for my sideshow and Hot Toys figures and I have some Hot Toys figures I haven't showed those yet on my channel that is because, of course, I haven't been making any videos in the last year. But we're going to start off with the Kallax section here. Just quickly show off the stuff that is in here. As you can see we got my Power Rangers collection with uh, Zords like Serpentera, Titanus, the Ninja Megazord. We have the movie figures, some mini figures. I love those. Those are very small but awesome to collect. Goldar, vintage Goldar. In the middle of the section we have the command center with Zordon and all Rangers except Tommy Oliver. There's a separate separate section for that. Be being him being my uh, favorite Ranger, uh, but there also is the um, the variations from season two are in here. We have Lord Zed, the vintage figure, well vintage, the nineties figure. Now we have. A Megazord and Dragon Zord combined uh, because otherwise I wouldn't have any room to display them separately. The Hasbro Lightning Collection Lord Z, which is an amazing, amazing figure. We have Figuarts White Ranger, Figuarts Green Ranger, and this being my legacy Green Ranger helmet. I got this as a gift from my girlfriend uh, last year. I love this piece, it's one of my favorite pieces in my entire collection. I would never ever ever sell it. I love it. And to basically finish off the Power Rangers section, we have my DVD box from Mighty Morphin. We have the Tyrannosaurus Rex Zord and the Ultimate Visual History, which I got from uh, my girlfriend's parents as a Christmas gift, which is an awesome piece. It contains all 20 five years of Power Rangers history in one book. Amazing. And then we have my, of course, my Tommy Oliver slash Jason, Jason David Frank section, my favorite ranger. We got two Funko plushes, green and white ranger, of course. We have the old vintage Bandai white and green ranger figures. My picture with Jason David Frank, which I got to meet at Comic-Con Brussels last year. Green Ranger Funko, which is an exclusive, and the White Ranger Funko. Go into something different. Highlander slash Queen section. We have Kurdigan and, of course, Connor himself. 
with the NECA Freddie Mercury figure in the back and a Queen guitar there as well. There's an empty spot on this side in the back. <coughs> I'm gonna put a little uh, small frame there with a picture I wanna frame there is basically um, the one and only Christopher Lambert signing my original Belgian Dutch movie poster from Highlander. Um, I got to meet him a few weeks ago and he signed my original movie poster. I want to frame that picture because I was able to make a picture of him holding that poster. Want to make pic uh, want to print that out and frame it, put it there. Um, going to this side, of course, huge Robocop fan here. So, of course, the definitive history book there. It includes uh, everything from the three movies and the remake. NECA at 209. A Funko Robocop figure and the one and only Mayfax Robocop figure. Fantastic piece as well. I absolutely adore it. Going down here, we have my Dark Knight uh, trilogy kind of section. With in the back, we have kind of the Ultimate Dark Knight trilogy book. And with the Blu ray set, in the middle, we have the Batman Begins uh, toy. For Batmobile toy from Mattel, I believe. And then we have the figure arts Joker and the figure arts Batman with a custom head sculpt that I bought on Instagram uh, from Manipal or Minipal <laughs> Studios, something like that. Basically a rescaled or scaled down version of the Hot Toys Christian Bale head sculpt that came with a Batman figure. Amazing piece, especially for that scale. Then we have Terminator section. Love Terminator, love those movies. I mean, I love the first two movies. <laughs> but we have the NECA figures here. Uh, excluding John Connor. Would love to get John Connor and Kyle Reese. But in the back, I got to meet the one and only Kyle Reese. This is me with Michael Bean, picture that is framed. And it stands upon a Terminator trilogy box set. Going here, we have a Doctor Who. As you can see, there's a bunch of Daleks. We have, of course, the TARDIS. Tent Doctor in a few different outfits with his three companions. Sonic Screwdriver from the 11th Doctor. The TARDIS herself in person. And the, the 11th Doctor with Amy as well. So, really like this section, actually. Got the TARDIS from a Bosch X71. Ah, I love that piece. Makes light sounds. Really cool. Uh, then we have my Ghostbusters section. In the front you can see the Lego IDs set. And then of course we have the vintage Ghostbusters Ecto-1 vehicle with uh, four figures. You can see one there, there, and then the two in the front seat of course. At the steering wheel we have the Marshmallow Man which is also the vintage toy. And then we have the Ghostbusters Ecto-1 from Hot Wheels. Really, really happy with how this turned out. Um, got an empty one for future purchases, of course. Um, this right here is my Dragon Ball Super Broly uh, movie shelf, basically. So I got the movie on DVD there uh, as display piece. We got Gogeta and Armored Broly from new movie, both figure arts figures, of course. Moving down here, we have uh, one of my sections that I absolutely adore, which is Goku versus the Dragon Ball villains. And we have Frieza, the original Broly, Cell, Evil Boo, the three androids, and of course Goku Black. So I'm missing Beerus and Whis, I believe, on this display, which are not villains per se, but I would love to add these to my collection. And then, of course, we have a random NECA shelf. I've collected NECA for a long time. Got Rocketeer figure in the back from um, Funko Legacy, actually. But it's a, it's a six inch figure, so thought it would be nice to display here. We have the NECA Good Guys set and the NECA Bride of Chucky set. We have NECA Shaun of the Dead set. NECA Michael Keaton Batman that I got from JCC2224. And then NECA Blade Runner 2049 figures. And Kaneda and his bike from the movie Akira, which is a McFarlane toy, but 
McFarlane and NECA aren't too far apart. <coughs> then we have the rest of my NECA stuff, of course, Pirestar Caribbean being my favorite uh, line from NECA. This is from the first movie, <coughs> second movie, <coughs> and third movie. I'm only missing Tia Dama, but I just can't find her anywhere. Would love to complete that collection, but just can't find it. Few, as you guys can see, few empty cubicles there in that display, but again, for future um, purchases. Uh, moving down to this section, I'm gonna show you my Hot Toys pieces. Uh, first of all, we have this Black Series Darth Vader helmet, which is not mine. This is from my girlfriend, but she did not have enough room in her room, basically, her collector's room, to put it, so I had the chance to take it and put it in mine. <coughs> we have Hot Toys Man of Steel Superman. Sideshow collectibles. Kit Fisto. Um, I basically sold some Sideshow stuff as well, but I definitely want to keep that Kit Fisto, it's an awesome figure. <coughs> and then we have Darth Vader and Obi-Wan Kenobi from Sideshow. I've always had that display with Obi-Wan and Darth Vader, just want to keep it that way. And then, of course, this shelf. Uh, one of my grail pieces, to be honest, in my collection is the Hot Toys DX07 set. Luke Bespin, <coughs> which uh, comes with two versions of Luke. The non-battle damage version and the battle damage version from uh, Cloud City, of course. And I love this piece. I got it this year, but I haven't showed it off yet because I wasn't making videos back then. So yeah, I got Luke and of course, battle damaged Luke. Amazing set, uh, very hard to get for a good price nowadays. I believe Hot Toys is doing a remake kind of thing for, from Luke Bespin, but this set is just amazing. I love it. So we got that. And of course, this year I also got Hot Toys Anakin Skywalker Dark Side version and Obi-Wan Kenobi. My side show versions are now with my friend the Jedi Coat. Um, got this here. Ewan McGregor as Obi-Wan Kenobi. Sorry for the glare, but these display cabinets aren't open, so can have a lot of glare here. And of course, Anakin Skywalker dark side version. Awesome, awesome figure. So that's it for this display, um, except for these drawers. I mean, <coughs> and here is all my Star Wars DVDs, Blu-rays, stuff like that, as you can see. <coughs> and here is basically all my uh, game stuff, as you can see, a bunch of gaming stuff here. Uh, lots of Pokemon, Star Wars, some Dragon Ball Z. I love my handheld stuff, so had to put that here. Got that. And then moving to basically, um, yeah, this is the window. See, some comic books from Star Wars, the Tales of the Jedi series complete. Um, I still have to find a spot for my books, because I have a bunch of books. And some random figures that are just waiting to be displayed. <laughs> uh, on top of my vintage display cabinet, we have my Imperial Shuttle, a Darth Maul bust bank, <coughs> and the Lego figures from Star Wars that I love. Cat Bane, Darth Vader, a Battle Lamb, Darth Vader, and Darth Revan. Love those. Go into my vintage display cabinet. This is basically my old vintage display cabinet. So I moved this one from my parents' house to here because uh, I just love the way how my vintage figures looked in that display. I just didn't want, didn't want to change it. So um, I just kept it. I just reorganized it a bit. So let's take a look. We have some 12 inch dolls in the back from Luke and Leia, some uh, Skywalkers, Y Wings, Peter Bikes. We have Jawas, a bunch of those I got from my friend the Jedi Code. Some droids. Got Ewoks, a bunch of Ewoks. And again, I got most of these from my friend the Jedi Code. 
I love collecting these vintage Ewok figures and Jawa figures and Ugnaughts. I love the smaller characters in the vintage line. And then being my uh, carded weekend there on the side. <coughs> then we have this shelf which includes uh, mini rigs, some Endor guys, and Slave One, and some random uh, vintage figures like Cobra Commander from G.I. Joe, got a Tron, Tron figure, Predator, and in the back we have Mr. T. So in the front we have <coughs> Luke Skywalker a few times in his Jedi Knight, Knight outfit, Leia Poncho, Han, Trenchcoat, Chewbacca, Lando, bunch of stuff. And then this shelf we have uh, all other loose figures from the vintage line, an X-Wing and the Imperial Troop Transport, I believe. We have a back uh, next to my X-Wing, so a bunch of figures, including the Retro Tarkin. I know it's not vintage, but it fits so well with the other vintage figures. Uh, then here we have vintage Snow Speeder. Love that piece. My Ugnaughts, Kazibon. PVC figure from the droid line. On my C-3PO figure, this is my most prized possession. Uh, my um, the figure that I would save if <laughs> if a fire would be happening here. Um, this is the first one I ever got from my uncle, who um, of course he introduced me to Star Wars, so that will always have a special place in my heart. We have the last 17 bunch. I finally completed the last 17. I mean, not all of them are complete with accessories, but the more expensive ones are complete with accessories. For example, um, R2, Yak Face, Luke, Imperial Gunner, those are complete with accessories. Uh, we have Han Carbonite in the back, also complete with the Carbonite block. And the last one I needed was EV99, so as you can see, I finally got him. So I really like these on display. It's a bunch of nice characters there. The Rancor. Then we have the 12 inch Darth Vader. Uh, this being one of my favorite pieces in my entire collection. Just love that piece. Just uh, bought it at Star Celebration in London, 2016. Amazing, amazing figure. <clears throat> Some first 12 figure figures like Luke, Obi-Wan, Chewbacca, on Solo, Leia. And then, of course, my 12 back Clipper R2-D2 in the back there. <coughs> and then, the last display, a vintage AT, AT Walker, blue TIE Fighter, Darth Vader TIE Fighter, fighter. wow, <laughs> some Tauntauns, Wampas, Max Rebo Band, some Imperial figures. <coughs> and that's basically it for... Um, my vintage display cabinet, as you can see, a bunch, a bunch, a bunch of different stuff, pieces, figures, vehicles, I love it. So got that, and now we're going to move on to, of course, the big unit itself, my big collection, so be right back. Okay guys, we're back and as you guys can see, I'm going to show you my clone trooper display right now. We have a bomber, the crumb bomber with some clones, some Jedi, tiger shark gunship. I can't really reach it, I mean I have to step on the ladder to show it properly, but you can see it alright. We have the cloned turbo tank. Clone Turbo Tank with all figures, some Shock Troopers, some Clone Wars AT-RT Walkers, ATTE, a Fighter Tank, an ATDP, I believe, Arc 170, Shock Troopers, so a bunch of stuff here on display. Sorry for the bad angles, but I can't really show it all too well, but as you guys can see, Whew. Massive clone trooper display and that is just from movies and such. I mean 
My clone trooper display is in that cabinet right there, but I'm gonna open it up. I'm gonna show you my cabinets quickly and um, the way or how I set it all up. So I'm gonna start here with Clone Wars Part 1. This being the villain shelf. As you can see, bounty hunters, droids. And in the back we have some carded figures like Cat Bane, Ahsoka, which is signed by Ashley Eckstein, Scuba Ahsoka, Riot Control Trooper, more Bounty Hunters, Cat Bane, my favorite character. Uh, and then we have the other bad guys, Sidious and such. As you guys can see. And then we have the Mandalorian Speeder with the Mandalorian Transport with Pre Vizsla. And basically five Mandalorians in that vehicle. So going down, wow. Uh, we have more clone troopers. Basically this is my Jedi slash clone trooper display from the Clone Wars line. One of my favorite lines to collect for. Um, as you guys can see in the back, we have four Jedi Starfighters. Where f four Jedi Starfighters, wow. We have Obi-Wan's. Kit Fisto, Anakin's, and Ahsoka's Starfighter, all from the Clone Wars. Uh, how I basically put this display up is basically, let's say you have Obi-Wan Starfighter, so next to that is Obi-Wan together with his astromech, and then basically characters that are a part of that character or the, that are connected with that character. For example, here we have Plo Koon, Mace Windu with their droids, and in the back we have um, other Jedi and all the way in the back is basically a variation of the character. So for example, this is Kit Fisto's far Starfighter. In the back there should be a Snow Gear Kit Fisto, but I just don't have that figure, so could not can't put it on display. But here with Anakin we have Anakin and in the back we have other variations of Anakin like the Space Gear one as you can see. And then here we have Ahsoka, Barris, Luminara with the droid. And in the back we have Space Gear Ahsoka and the first version of Ahsoka. And in the back there we have characters like uh, Obi-Wan and Anakin in their winter gear together with Plo Koon. Chewbacca, we have Mandalorian Guard, we have Commander uh, Fox Phase 2 I believe. Boss, Heavy. My art troopers, as you can see, we have um, all of them Blitz, Hammer, Fordo, Colt, and uh, Havoc. We have LS and Sergeant Brick. Uh, these are new additions here. S uh, Boost and Sinker in their Phase 2 outfit. Super, super happy I finally got those. Some Phase 2 clones. Over here we have Gree, Lock, Bly. Um, phase 2, um, 501st. Here is the Geonosis stuff. Took Commander Colt or Captain Colt. Uh, Waxer, Boil, Trapper, all of them. Uh, we have Stone, Pond, Tire, Fox, uh, Reese in the back. Space Trooper, Boost and Sinker again in their Phase 1 outfit. Nurse Space Trooper, Wolf Phase 1, Wolf Phase 2. And as you guys can see, that's the way how I ordered them with Battalion or and with Commanders. Uh, here is 501st section with some Captain Rex figures. Um, got Mixer and Red Eye. Um, the beautiful... Um, wow, forgot his name there. Um, Jedi Master. <laughs> I completely blanked on the name. Um, Captain Rex figures. Echo and Fives. This Fives. And that is Echo. You can see. Now we have some Utpau kind of troopers. Cody in his Phase 1 and Phase 2 outfit. Wax around Boil. Cody Phase 2. We have Go the pilots basically. Matchstick, Goji, and... Um, Warthog, the anti hail fire commander, Captain uh, Blackout, and then basically all the regular phase one clones, 
like um, Echo 5's Chopper, Gus, uh, Sergeant Slick. So we got all of those right here. So as you guys can see, my Clone Trooper display is pretty awesome in my opinion. And so the way how I put it, I finally was able to have more room, more space for these figures to display them, which is super, super awesome. And same with those figures. I mean, separate shells for good guys and bad guys, which is, if you put them together, that is pretty awesome. So going to the next shelf, my favorite shelf, of course, the thing that I like to collect the most, Expanded Universe, and as you guys can see, it's completely full with figures, um, including a vehicle, that being Dash Render's uh, Outrider, Outrider. You have Dash Render next to it, of course. In the back, just like always, carded figures, Bastilla, Sean, Dark Malgus, Dark Revan, Dark Malak, Battle Damage, Dark Vader, pre Cyber Grievous, and a Space Trooper, I believe, or Dark Trooper. Uh, in the front, you have Clone, I mean, just, uh, it's better. Clone Emperor Palpatine, Jaina Solo, Jason Solo, Quinlan Voss, um, Yuzan Vong Warrior, or Droid, Priest Warrior, Grievous. I mean, you can see all the figures. We got a Kyle Katarn in the back, for example, a Prince Isor. Uh, there, you have Nam Anor and Space or Dark Trooper Phase 1. Got that. In the front, you have a Delta Squad or Mega Squad. Forgot the squadron name. Dark Empire Luke, which is a figure I love. Space Trooper, Phase 2. Then we have all the Jedi, Dark Revan, Dark Malak, Dark Nihilus, Dark Bane, Shea Vizla, for example, Republic Troopers, Dark Malgus, Cyborg, Dark Maul, Owen Lars, uh, some bounty hunters there with Roland Dyer, Jodo Kost, um, and Montross and Chester Muriel. Uh, we have Lumaya, some Anakins, one of those awesome figures there being Crook, the Jedi. Crook. So I have that. Uh, Plagueis, Palpatine, and in front, of course, my most prized possession, Exar Kun, and. Ulic Keldroma. Boom. And then of course my big Force Unleashed shelf, which is now complete. I mean, a Force Unleashed section of the Expanded Universe shelf. Um, the last one I needed was the Felucian Warrior. As you guys can see, you have two versions. You have a blue one and the colored one. The one I needed was a blue one. So very happy that I finally have that one. Um, so, yeah, awesome, awesome display, in my opinion. One of my favorite figures, Battle Damage Art Vader. Favorite figure of all time. Love that figure. Um, in the back, I mean, don't know if you guys can see it all too well, but you have Dart Nile, Dart Kray, Dart Talon. You have Lord Malaval with Joker Squad there. I can see that. And you have the tree. Jedi, what are those? Are those called those red armored ones? Antares Draco and, and Sigil there and the other one. But uh, the last one I need for that was Sigil there, which I got um, a few weeks ago actually. So really happy to have her. And yeah, there we go, guys. Woo! Expanded universe shelf. What a display. I love it. Absolutely adore it and uh, the only really expensive figures that I'm missing are Tolma, Tolmi or Tolme and Tra'a, the Jedi figures, uh, very expensive comic pack, not as expensive as Exar Kun nowadays but still very rare, very expensive, I mean they're just, just what it is, I mean I will be getting them in the future I think because it does complete my shelf. I don't think I need any other real Expanded Universe figures that I can think of right now, but I mean, maybe, who knows. Anyways, next shelf, um, this will be a tougher one, 
This is prequel shelf together with uh, Rebels and Solo because basically they are prequel stories to the original trilogy. That's why I put them there. Uh, you have the Solo speeder with Quay Tolside, Moloch and Fisnest and one of those um, guard dogs that comes with uh, the Tusco Raiders. I really like that. Rebels collection in the front. A complete collection, only missing holographic Obi-Wan and Ezra Bridger in his white outfit. You got all the other figures from the Star Wars Rebels line. Very fun line to collect. Um, then we have Jedi Padawans together with Luke. Uh, to Luke. Together with uh, Yoda, you got the statue, Jocasta Nu. Um, in the back, we even have the Darth Vader. A Sith Starfighter. I mean, it's not a prequel. It's a prequel vehicle, but it's not in the prequels. I mean, this particular version, but I still like it. Uh, the way I categorize this shelf is in the back, there was episode one. Going to the front, there's episode two, episode three, and then we have Rebels, of course. That's kind of the way I did it. I mean, initially, I want to work with like stands to bring. Uh, figure or risers acrylic risers to basically put figures higher than others but i mean i couldn't find them and i just made my displays i probably will leave it like this but again pretty big uh prequel shelf uh i really like to like for prequels and now lastly whoo, oh wow uh, original trilogy shelf you can see pretty big shelf as well uh in the back all the carded figures are from the VOTC line. Uh, we have a George Sekul as well, which is the X-Wing pilot. Uh, George Lucas is in the X-Wing pilot outfit. But other figures include Yoda, Tripio, Luke, George Lucas and Stormtrooper Disguise, Leia, Obi-Wan, Lando, the Luke tree pack that recently came out in the Vintage Collection. Uh, the way I did this shelf, again, same thing, A New Hope, Empire, Return of Jedi, um, but I have not, I don't have a lot of Return of Jedi figures in this display because I use them in a different display in one of the other cabinets. Uh, the new finished collection of Luke and Han Stormtrooper. In the front we have uh, Force Awakens. I mean, it is the follow-up to the original trilogy, so I thought Force Awakens and the Last Jedi figures would be uh, a good way to end this shelf. Uh, but, I mean, hard to show, but you got bunch of different characters there all original trilogy of course wampa probe droid everything is here from my collection as you can see pretty uh, large collection of figures here so um, i'm gonna try to well i'm gonna try to show the shelving here boom there you go Nice collection of figures here. So, uh, yeah, that is one part of the display cabinet. Uh, let's move on to the second part. And sorry for if this video is too long. There's just a bunch of stuff that I want to show you guys. Um, starting off here, we have the vintage collection 8080 Walker together with the Power of Force one. Just put those there. The big Millennium Falcon with a bunch of OT characters Luke, Khan, Leia, Shui, Obi Wan, R2, Tripio, and Lando. Going to this shelf here is my 6 inch shelf. Got some new ones as well. We have the Mandalorian next to Boba Fett here. can see and yeah, we have the solo team love those figures and the clones I recently got Commander Fox so really happy about that and then we have Force Awakens of course with all the characters we have some expand universe stuff Jaina Solo and Darth Revan uh, we have some Imperials and in the back, Force Awakens, a bad guys with Snoke on his throne. 
Phasma, Kylo Ren, all that good stuff. So six inch shelf, Falcon, and walkers. And then this shelf right here is my gentle giant shelf. So these are Clone Wars uh, statues. We have Mas Kanata, Han Solo, Force Awaken, uh, Force Unleashed busts, uh, Cody, which is an awesome piece, and Ayla Sakura Jedi. So gentle giant shelf. Had to have that in my room, of course. And then going to this display cabinet, uh, being the last one. We, the way I put, this is the first one I actually made, and these are basically scenes from the movies, and that's how I want to have uh, a display cabinet as well. This is basically the arrival of the droids, or the, uh, the Jawas and the droids at Lars Homestead's uh, place, Lars place, together with Luke. You have, of course, Lars Homestead, Aunt Beru, and Uncle Owen, some sand troopers, so Luke, there as well. In the bag there is the comic pack with Visionaries, com Visionaries comic pack with Carmi and Fixer, something like that. But they are included on Tatooine. Jawas with all types of Astromax and whatnot. So a bunch of those here on display. Luke and his land speeder together with uh, riding to Obi-Wan and uh, R2 is shown the Leia hologram and in the back there is the Dr. Aphra tree pack. I mean, I just put them there because They are droids in that pack. So I You know, I just didn't have any other way to put it But as you can see this is kind of a diorama scene type thing going down uh, One of my favorites is Jabba's palace That is the new vintage collection Jabba's palace Lair thing that came out really cool what I did here, again, all characters from Jabba Spells, I put them all up here. Jabba, Boba, Ula, Dancer, um, all of them, Han, Carbonite, R2, 3PO, and all those random characters. Let's put them all up here. And then on this side of the shelf, of course, my two skiffs. These are the Power of the Force uh, 2 skiffs, so not the vintage collection ones. But you have all your main heroes with all these skiff guards here. And in the back, same thing, all these skiff guards with Luke jumping on the skiff. So I really like this display as well. Going down here, one of my favorite uh, scenes in all of Star Wars, which is the duel between Anakin and Obi-Wan. So I want to have a Mustafar display with, of course, the Mustafar playset, as you can see. Again, some scenes here like the creation of... Darth Vader, you have um, R2 and Tripio, Padme when she arrives on Mustafar with Anakin, uh, Anakin of course burning in the lava, and Obi-Wan having the high ground, I mean, <laughs> you have to have that, uh, and then you have Obi-Wan and Anakin battling it out on one of the platforms of Mustafar, um, now we have Palpatine arriving with shock troopers for um, to see how burnt Anakin is. Then we have the starfighter from Anakin, which is the green one. Accurate to the movie, Anakin does arrive on Mustafar with the green starfighter. In the back we have the Vintage Collection Darth Vader slash Anakin Skywalker figure card. Um, if Anakin arrives on Mustafar, there is a Nemodian, a uh, Grievous droid, the Magna Guard guy there, and some random droid that I just put there. And after the battle, of course, the children get born, and Leia has been given to Bail Organa and Brea. And Obi Wan gives Luke to Aunt Beru and Uncle Owen. In the back, six inch Obi Wan and Anakin, and the separation of the twins carded figures. So yeah, a bunch of displays here. As you guys can see, hope you guys really enjoy, enjoy this piece. I mean, I love, I love creating these displays. I hope the camera just does not fuck up. So, um, well, next display, Geonosis. I always wanted Geonosis Arena, and a few years ago, I bought a Geonosis Arena, 
but ever since then it's been in the box, never opened up, and I finally got the chance to open it up. As you guys can see, boom, in the display, I mean, size-wise, it fits in perfectly. You have on this display, of course, the Geonosis War Room with all the Separatists around the table. And then of course, all the Jedi fighting the droids. And of course, the three beasts, I mean, Nexu is there. There is a Reek, or so, what's his name again? I don't know. And a Clay, I know a Clay, <laughs> is here. And he's holding a battle droid, as you can see. And can I know everyone, of course. Some Jedi, a bunch of Jedi in the back, and Padme is standing on top of one of those pillars. And over there is basically uh, Django, Boba, Kantuku, and Pogo the Lesser in the back of the arena. So, Geonosis Arena, absolutely adore it. And the last shelf, I mean, this is fairly random, but what I really want to give a proper place in my collection is the vintage Ewok Village. So what did I do? I created another Endor display, uh, or Return of Jedi display, got two of those in my cabinet. With, of course, all the Ewoks that I have. And some others. And then I created, basically, this section is good guys. With Leia and Luke and Poncho, Han and Trenchcoat, a bunch of the pilots, because uh, what I love about Return of Jedi is the battle over Endor, of course, the giant space battle, which I love. And then on this side, of course, the bad guys, Boba Fett, Emperor Vader, scouts, troopers, and there's a Han Solo in Imperial disguise. Um, and again, 3PO and R2 always like those in front of my displays. And on the back, there in the back, there is some vintage collection Boba Fett figures, rocket firing one, and the prototype Boba Fett, uh, Yak Face signed by Sean Crawford, the actor, and a vintage collection Lumat figure carded on display as well. Uh, so yeah, Woo. there you go, guys. That is that part of the collection and display, as you can see, another lovely, lovely, lovely display with scenes and whatnot, so I'm a big fan of it. I'm a big fan of my collection, of course. And again here, big, big fan. So much awesomeness, so much figures. And there's still a bunch at home actually, but I just can't fit everything in here. But uh, yeah, that's about it guys, that is my new and, I would say, improved Star Wars collection room tour. This is my new room for my collection and um, everything is here. And I minimize my non-Star Wars related items to just one shelf. That way I won't buy too much different stuff uh, that does not belong in Star Wars room basically. So uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I will be back with more videos, hopefully very soon. So until then, keep collecting and may the force be with you. Bye.